Oh, you're right. I got to scare people. Bro, it's the Sherman that's so much. God, I need this Mike Evans to come out. I can almost buy him, boys. I can almost buy him. I can taste. I can taste this, man. We got to send this. I feel like we got to send this. We got to send this. We'll make this back. We'll make this back. And Dummy is your Madden Bull. Bro, what is up with these guys? Can be super bummer, dude. YouTube, let's get it. Sorry, I've been a wall, but I've been doing sets. Oh my God, I got JJ Watt though. Let's get it. Let me show you my team. But first, boys, there's been a lot of complaining about Mutt. The cards are too expensive. Now, this is what I want to preface this. I'll talk about it more on my streams, on my YouTube videos. I think we're actually doing a Madden roundtable on Friday with Scomo. But a question I ask you: There's no right or wrong answer. It's just an open discourse with my boys, with the subscribers. Yes or no question, you can elaborate for sure. Do you guys think you should have the same Mutt team as I do? That's the question I ask. Yes or no? Do you guys think that me, I am probably $5,000 in, something like that. I'm a professional. I compete at the highest level. Um, I put a lot of time on the game for sure. Do you guys think that you should have the same Mutt team as me? Like I said, there's no right or wrong answer. Let me know below. Going to be a lot of talk about this going forward because people are really pissed that these limiteds are so expensive. Me, personally, I think the amount of cards they're putting out is awesome. I do. Make a long story short, I think people have this illusion that the cards help them or will help them be better at the game when it's really insignificant, the difference uh, one speed, one point of speed makes or maybe one more ability point make in your gameplay. Like It's not as big a deal as you guys think. But let me know what you're thinking about. Should you have the same Mutt team as me? Speaking of Mutt team, let's take a look at what I got right now, boys. I think it's kind of gas. Let me know. We did complete the 50 Harvest 25 Dolphins. This is our team right here. You guys see over here, we'll take out our chemistries. 50 Harvest, that means plus two speed for anybody in Harvest. 25 Dolphins plus one speed for anybody in Dolphins. And anybody with Harvest and Dolphins a la Mac Hollins and Chris Carter, will get plus three speed. So I have these two tall receivers right here, both of them 95 speed. I think this is the obviously the fastest team you can get for sure with those two wide receivers, 95 speed. There are some fast receivers. The Eagles have good receivers, but this is what I'm working with right now. I'm using Julius Thomas, a tight end. He's not better than Pitts. He's really fast, but he doesn't have a good juke, and he's not really physical. He's just fat. But he's fast, so we'll see. And with the Dolphins team, it helps me if I use him. We're going to use Edger and James, I think, is still the best. I, I haven't got Gurley yet, but I, I really like Ed, especially with 94 speed on this 50 Harvest team. Going to use Pat Mahomes. Really not feeling him that much. I might get off the theme team just to get the best quarterback in the game. I don't know who it is. Let me know who you guys are using at quarterback, but I'm using Mahomes. This is my man, uh, 82 speed. It, he gets enough. He'll get 10 yards if it's there to scramble. That's how I feel. Uh, Amari Cooper, we're going to use him as well. I'm waiting for a new Tyreek Hill would make this team OP. Defensively, we're going to have Jeremy Chin. We're going to have Tariq Woolen. I run a lot of cover three. Jeremy Chin, Tariq Woolen are deep knockouts. We have Joey Porter Jr., Holland. Here's the J.J. Watt card. I finally did the sets. It took me a long time. Uh, probably a couple million coins, maybe. I really didn't know how much I lost or gained, but we got J.J. Watt. We did the set for him. I got him first because I think he's more important for theme teams. As you can see, he gets every team's chem, so he's on the Dolphins. Plus one speed. He'll fill in a spot. He can play D-tackle for me. So that's why I went J.J. Watt first. Uh, we're going to use Chubb. We're going to use Watt. We're going to use Joey Porter. Those are going to be my three down linemen. We're going to have Dion in the slot, Tariq Woolen, and Jeremy Chin playing opposite sides in the cover three. It's a cover three cloud, so Chin will be a rollover deep third. Tariq Woolen will be a deep, a deep third on the outside. Then I have Deron Bland and Richard... Sherman. This is the card. Three million coins for this card. The regular one is about 900k, maybe 700k. And I will tell you guys right now, I, I think that's the move, really. As we see Sherman here with the plus five with all the strategy cards, I'll show you guys that. 99 zone coverage, 93 speed. The only difference is one point of speed difference, and then the expensive one gets flat zone for one one ap knockout but i'm using pick artists on him he just has pick artists you see him there with 93 speed 99 zone you know richard sherman is 6-3 not really the best man covers corner but he's a stud deron bland i'm going to put him in the middle of the field this might be somewhere where i switch sherman out there i'm not sure but he has the free pick artist and deep in knockout in the middle of the field that's why i like deron bland there pick artist 
In the middle of the field, you got somewhere that's going to catch a pick every time they throw a bad pass up in the middle. That's that's my philosophy with Deron Bland in the middle. Now, the thing that's glitchy here, I'll show you guys now. I played a lot. I haven't got this. But Richard Sherman has a X factor, the unstoppable universal coverage. That means if he catches a pick or enough knockouts or something like that, he will get universal coverage for the entire game. I think that's kind of glitchy. Haven't got it yet. I don't know if it's one pick or it says five knockouts right there. It might be a bit much, but if he could get that, that would make him an OP card. So I felt like leaving no knockouts on him and just that. Because if he gets that, then I, eh, just, just a thought. Just a thought, boys. But that's my team. That's what I'm rocking. Other glitch that I got going on. Not a glitch, but what I really like is this card, Josh Allen. We're going to put Josh Allen at outside linebacker. If you guys know, I've been running 3-3 three, three all year. We're going to put him outside linebacker. He gets a free lurk artist. Much like Ray Lewis, you can put him in any zone and he'll jump and attack the ball. Lurk artists, pick artists. What do they do the best? They make your players attack the football. There's no swatting. There's no nothing. They're going for picks and they're catching picks. Honestly, if everybody had these abilities, the defense would be great in this game. That's how I feel. Defense would be great. If all these cards had pick artists or lurk artists, defense would be great. That's how I feel. I truly feel that way. But that's my squad. This is a gameplay. This is actually a Players Lounge tournament. Those links are below, boys. If you guys want to play Players Lounge, use that code. Tournaments every single night on Players Lounge. This one was for $1,000, and this was round one. Let's see how this team does, boys. I'm a little rusty. I haven't played in, like, four days because I've been doing sets. You know why? Because I fucking want it. That's why, boys. All right? All these guys crying. You know what I was doing all weekend while trying to be a father and a homeowner and a responsible human being? I was grinding sets. You know why? Because I fucking want it. That's why. All right? Will I ever do a set again? Hell no. Scomo, tweet, Scomo asked me to join a round table to talk mutt. I think, the, honestly, to a man, I think them guys are going to piss me off. I believe in everything they do, but, like, we're in a different... I'll do it. But And honestly, it's like, bro, do I want to spend time talking? These guys are getting better for Madden Bowl. I'm, I just told him I'm all in. I am the villain because I'm fucking good at the game. They all think, they all think, you know what I'm saying? Like, they all, I'm an EA person. Who we're playing? Save Chris Olave. I don't know. He's a five-star on Players Lounge. His name is Baby High. He's probably a god. I don't know who it is. He's probably going to wax my bald head up and down the field, and we'll be back to head-to-head -to -head playing shitters, because, you know, it's what we do on Players Lounge tournaments in the last month. Scomo hit me with a flame for when I said it's in. I'm sure he's tough. There, there's not that many people in this tournament. What the fuck? No, I think he's a good dude, but like I said, he's just an argument, argument person. That's not really my vibe. Oh yeah, Edge. Oh yeah, Edge. Somebody said Edge sucks today. I saw that. It's like, what's going on? Honestly. Okay. Okay. Oh my God! Let me go crazy. I'm still got it. I still got it. Okay. Ah, W Juke, man. Oh my god, dude. That's a bad fucking pass. I read the safety and the and his user. I didn't see that guy. Where was he coming from? Yeah, like I, I didn't know where it was from the slot, I think. Because it wasn't the linebacker. I really think Sweep is like the best run. Edge is a monster, dude. No other card makes that play. I do like Edge, though. I ain't even gonna throw. I do like Edge. I like him better than Mustard, and I like him better than Marshall Falk. Obviously, I haven't used Gurley, but I like Edge the best. Patterson's probably a beast, though, too, honestly. Holy shit, Chin, is that how you feel? Oh my God, Chin. Good shit, Chin. It's just like dumb to have fucking hard plans, dude. I swear to God it is. Oh, that was bad. I mean, I'm not mad at the squad. <laughs> I'm not mad at the squad. 
against us. Hard flash, but he had fucking two streaks, two corner rounds, and a flat over there. Like, we need some pressure on that one. Look at Edge. No way, <laughs> we don't hit that. In what planet, in what world do we not hit that? Right trigger just does it, dude. Every time it does it. Got like he's got like 30 yard zones, then he just had like a 40 yard Z yellow in the middle of the field. Oh. My running back just died. I got Joe Connor in the game. What's his name? Joe Connor? Jake Connor? Yeah. Oh, that could be a fight. That could be fight. This is what Ed told me run right here. Oh, no, I don't want your clock. Oh, I shouldn't have called. God damn it. Just brain. It's my wife just called me. Said, come upstairs. Like, just no fucking way nobody peels and blocks that but edge get edge the fuck out of my team ah chin doesn't have deep end fuck okay dude who's his quarterback Otto Graham do that dog Oh, Josh, if you didn't like run over there, Josh. Oh, if you didn't run over there, Josh. Bad timeout. We got him out of field goal range. That's like a bad timeout. Uh, it's a far ass field goal, dude. 62 yarder. Hey, let's go. We got 10 seconds. We can get a field goal here, too. We need like we need like five yards right here. We going to use check for the sweep. Nice play. Good use check. Better than edge. Use check. Better than edge. Use your whole team. Well, I didn't do my kicker ability. Luckily, I'm a pro. What the fuck? Oh, I have the fucking Dolphins kicker, you fucking idiots. As I hate that shit. It's Tucci. Well, I told these fucking morons. It's dumb to have two kickers because that's going to happen. Fuck, man. God damn this motherfucker. Otto, dude. Let's go. This shit won't I like that. I mean, dog. Maybe because I'm a fucking idiot here. Let's go. That's why you blitz prime, bro. Come on. Let's go, man. No, this dude Otto was whipping the shit out of the ball. I, I, I've seen enough from Otto. He's a god. Look at you, check. The stiff arm is back. Oh, James. Oh, let's go. Edge is back for the first time in fucking plays. Juszczyk played a role in this this team, dude. He really did. I should change my kicker now.
Oh, I'm on aggressive blocking. I'm so fucking brain dead right now. Bro, how ain't block no linebacker right there, dude? For our combinations. Bro, that's a good thing. That's fucking wild. I mean, this is the Edger and James game. I'll tell you that. Oh my god, damn it, dude. Just did all them hot routes on RPO, dude. Ah, my fucking knockouts are backwards. This is bad. Yep. Just got fucking base. God damn it, dude. Just tripped over somebody base line. Fuck, man. I mean, the amount of points we've left on the board here, boys. Like, the amount of points we've left on the board in this game. Easily, easily 17 points so far. It's just so easy to, like, trip up that. It was, like, so easy to trip up the fucking deep third right there. It was so easy to trip him up. He, like, tripped over somebody's foot and just touched down. Edge fighting. Look at Edge, bro. Ray Lewis. I know he never stopped blowing the whole game. Like, well, man, I need Ray Lewis back. Shit. Why do I not have Ray Lewis? We've left so much, so many. I think I'm playing really well offense, defense. Eh, I've been better, but I, I feel like I've been playing really good with my quarterback. I feel like my pocket's really good. We've left a lot of points on the board. We gave up three before half because I didn't have my kicker in. Come on, dude. Like, we got to be fucking better right here, dude. Like, how in the world, in any fucking world, like, Tillman makes this play in the fucking backfield. No problem, Tillman makes this fucking play. Julian Love, figure it the fuck out. Come on, boys. I swear to God, cover two is like the worst fucking blitz you can run. I swear to God. Oh, pick, Chubb, come on! That's out of bounds. Let's go. I mean, dog, like. Uh. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. Give me life. I PI'd the shit out of ground. Dude, I lead the league in just PIing people, dude. Uh, I feel like I used my timeouts pretty well there. He should call it. He should take the late game here and not kick it. I mean, we got plenty of time, low key. I just can't take it. Have a bad play. He's just been playing a lot of zone covers, a lot of double maple, a lot of cover three, a lot of deep yellow zones. I think the move is going to be get edge the ball here. It's the edge game. Do we get edge the ball, Chad? Do we get him the ball? Beautiful play call from the boys right there. Beautiful play call. I could have scored. I should have tried to score better than I did, though. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I was a little indecisive. On what I'm going to do. He could not call timeout right here. Be, it would, I'm, I'm playing like he's going to call timeout. That was fucking stupid. That was good no timeout. I don't like the stiff arm, but like I like. I didn't know if I wanted to try to juke him right there. That was fucking. Uh, I could have played that better. We got two dots here, boys. Fuck him. Right? Check. Check out, bro. Are you blinking? 
Holy shit, he's blinking. I mean, you gotta naturally double team this guy, right? Because he's blinking, like you just have to. Fuck Josh Allen. <laughs> 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 Mahomes, look at that. <laughs> the edge game. No high point? You think he gets his feet on a high point? Man, fuck him. I feel like they never, like you'll never get a good animation on a high point. Jump, catch, feet, and no. This is what I've been running low key in these simple skimbo in these situations. And let me tell you something here, partner. These kids do not like this shit. They do not like this shit. Can we switch like players here? Josh Allen. I mean, I'll be honest. I didn't want to throw this. I thought it was like right here. I was like, damn, I'm bagged. Right here, I was bagged. I was like, damn, I'm bagged. Everybody's manned up. Everybody's. I was like, I'm bagged. And then I saw, I saw a little, I saw a little coochie cutting over here a little bit. I was like, oh, 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 rub routes, rub routes. Yup. This is why you designed to play. Shout out to Chris Carter who decided to run his route and then get pressed again, if anybody saw this. I don't know what his route, it was supposed to be a hitch, but he went for a hitch, double move, another hitch. Now he's on a curl, but it worked out perfectly. And we get a little, and then we just see, we saw a little bit of room here. There's no way high ball catches this pass. No way. You'd have to like get like an animation where you teabag him. Now, I'll be honest, for my life, for my life, I don't know if I'd throw this pass. Down three in like the zero chill tournament, I don't think I'd throw this. 